None of us want to look across the street and see abandoned homes, but blighted neighborhoods are a common problem, and Kalamazoo is no exception. New at 7, 24 Hour News 8's Brady Gillum went on a neighborhood tour with the mayor and a city planning commissioner to hear their strategy for fixing the problem. I'm in Kalamazoo's Northside neighborhood where you can see boarded up homes like this. It's something city leaders want to change. We're in a neighborhood right now, the north side neighborhood. We have all kinds of great neighborhoods that we need to invest in more. That's what we're out here doing, talking about now. We caught up with Kalamazoo Mayor Bobby Hopewell and other city leaders as they walked through a neighborhood that shows signs of blight. One of the things I would like to see is that the, the home, the, the people who may own some of these boarded up houses, that if they actually don't want them or if they're not going to fix them up, that they get rid of them, that they sell it to someone or to some person who who will take care of it. Pitts says he would like to see more home ownership in the area. With home ownership comes pride with your property. And I, I feel that that's one of the first steps that we have to do to actually um, bring up the property value and actually beautify our neighborhood. Hopewell says finding ways to invest in blighted projects is just one of the things he hopes to accomplish before he leaves office. It goes back to our strategic vision of improving our neighborhoods, having complete neighbor neighborhoods that have all the assets that they need. Pitt says he would like to create a community cleanup month where one section of a neighborhood is focused on for one entire month. If there's a will, there's a way. Hopewell's term is up at the end of 2019, so he'll have between now and then to accomplish these goals. In Kalamazoo, Brady Gillum, 24-Hour News 8.